Okay, uh, so we are going to discuss about static routing and the default routing, right? How we can configure uh, this is static routing and the default route and uh, how the routing table is going to maintain in that, right? So I will show you each and everything in that. So first of all, what is the routing overview that we have? Like how the routing table is going to maintain in that and uh, if you configured any IP address or uh, on any router, so how these IP addresses, where these IP addresses is going to maintain and how you can recognize that these IP address is coming from there, right? So about the path, about the destination source and um, about the way that is uh, you have inside the routing table that is uh, you can identify with using the routing tables right whatever the ip addresses that you have over on the routers over on the topologies so you can recognize that ip addresses or that network that would be um that would be in, uh, that would be just managed by the routing table right and that routing table is managed by or over on all the routers right so you can check this routing table over on all the routers. Now, the main concern is we are able to communicate in the same network, right? Let me just show you, just let me make the diagram. Suppose that this is our two routers that is we have and over on the routers, this is the IP addresses is working on that slash 24, right? So 10.1, on this interface and 10.2 over on this interface that is working right so you can you can do communication easily uh, within a LAN network right within the same network that is you have right but if you have another device if you have another router and if you want if you are uh, and over on this router that network that is we have 10.30.1.0/8, right? So this is this is we have the different network. So how we can communicate from router number one to the router number three, right? So these are the configuration that is we are going to do that, and with the help of the static routing, we are able to do communication in that, right? Now, let me just explain what is a static routing. So the static routing are users define manually created routers, right? So you can manually create the routes that is you have or on the different networks, right? The administrator creates static route in a Cisco router using the IP route command, right? which command that you are going to enable this static routing, which is IP route, right? So the IP route command will enable this feature that is the static routing that is we have, right? Now, the syntax for this static routing command that is IP route is IP route, the destination network, right? Destination network means we are going suppose that we are doing some configuration over on this router and we have uh, we supposed to communicate from router number one to three right so we should we should uh, give the destination address over on this router that is router number three address right whatever the ip that we have over on this router number three we have to give that ip address over on the destination right now after that we have to give the subnet mask, right? The network marks, sorry, the network mask, right? So inside the network mask, uh, mask means whatever the subnet mask is working on that, you have to give that, okay? Or you can also give the exit interface number as well, right? Whatever the exit interface that is you have, uh, means you are going to communicate from there to there, right? But suppose that communication means you are sending the packet, or sending the message, right? So you are sending this, suppose that any message that is over on the router number one. So where this will receive, that would be received on the directly connected link, right? 
So we have to give after the destination IP address, we have to give the port address or the port number that you can see that, right? Now, after giving the subnet mask, we have to give the next hop router, right? So this is, this is all about these things, right? Now, for our network router number one, uh, we are going to take the communication in that, right? So let me just make the diagram and we will do the some communication in that, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. So over here, I have already configured the 10.1 network and the 10.2 IP address over on these routers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the new routers over there and I'm going to do some configuration over on that as well. Or just let me do one thing. Let me just take the different routers over there. Let me take the three routers and over on these three routers, let me just make the connectivity first of all. In between that and but IP address which is we are going to do that that is 192.168.10.0 slash 24. Now we're on that 192.168.20.0 slash 24. Right, that's in the different IP address. Now, first of all, let me do the configuration of the IP addresses over on these route, these devices, right? Then we will do the configuration of the static route over there. Okay, so let me do the configuration of the IP address. So what is the port that is we have? Fast Ethernet 0, Fast Ethernet 0. Right, so let me do the configuration. So interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. Right, IP address one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one dot zero. Right, and don't forget to give the no shutdown command after giving the IP address. Now, let me do the configuration on the different router as well. And let me check that which interface it is. Is it fast Ethernet 0 slash 1? So, let me do the configuration first of all over on the 0 slash 0. <coughs> Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 over on the router number 2, right? IP address. So that IP address would be in the 10 network. I have already configured 10.1 on the router number 1. <laughs> That's why I'm using the 10.2 on the router number 2. Right? Now let me configure the IP address on the towards the router number three. So IP address 192, 168, that would be in the 20 network. And don't forget to give no shutdown command. Right, let me do the configuration on the last router. So interface, let me check first of all that which interface it is. Zero slash zero, right? So interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. Sorry. Interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. IP address. That would be 192.168.20.2. Right? And don't forget to give no shutdown command after that. Right, so IP address is configured on these routers, right? Now, let me verify you that we uh, that we are able to communicate from uh, this router to this router or this router, right? So let me check 
we are going to open this router right so how you can do that how you can check the communi communi communication that is with the ping command right so let me check the directly connected one that is 10.2 okay so we are able to communicate success rate is 80 percent okay now let me check the communication from 20.2 that is in the different network right so we are losing the connectivity means we do not have we are not able to communicate over on the from this router to this router right so now over here we are going to use this static uh, i static route configuration right so let me do the first of all the static route configuration over on this router right why we don't have to need to do this static route configuration over on the router number two ah uh, yes actually see why this first packet is going to drop it because of the first packet is going to check the connectivity right to check the communication so first time uh, there will be some cases right let me just tell you if the first packet is going from uh, source to destination so which one the first packet that is you have that is we call icmp right which is we called internet control message protocol message protocol right so inside this icmp what is the information that is going inside this packet that is uh, icmp echo request first of all the icmp echo request right it is going to send it so inside this echo request we have source ip that is uh, 10.1 right and the destination ip is also going to do, send it destination ip what is the destination ip that is we have which is 20.2 right means from there to there okay and uh, we have the source mac as well inside this port that will be the source mac and the destination mac so inside the destination mac i don't know that what is the destination mac because of i do not have the connectivity from there to there right but we know that we have uh, we have to send some packets from router number one to router number three right so this will send the package first of all to make the communication to uh, to maintain the communication to maintain the reachability from source to destination right so first packet that's why this first packet is going to drop then the arp message is going to generate it over there right which is arp is called address address resolution protocol right at this resolution protocol so inside the r packet now the second step that is we have the second packet it is going to generate it and inside the second packet it's going to send the r messages right so what is the r content that we have right so now first of all it is going to send the echo request right so this echo request uh First of all, this echo request will receive, this router will receive this request, right? Then it will check that uh, what is the message which is coming from. This is what kind of message, uh, like what kind of message it is and where it is coming from and what what is the purpose of this message, right? What is the purpose of this message? So this will first of all open this message and will check that, okay, um, I'm, I'm getting the my my ip address is uh, my ip address inside this message right inside this request message but i don't i do not uh, I'm, I'm not getting any 
uh, any kind of Mac information that is related to me, right? But whatever the source IP address and the source MAC addresses, I'm getting it that is coming from. So this will again, again, give the reply for that, which is, which is uh, just the opposite, right? Suppose that that have the MAC address, which is 0A and that have the MAC address, which is 0B. So this will, this will add some messages and inside these messages, it is going to send this reply because of it's a kind of request message, right? Means this router is requesting for something. So I have to tell that I don't have any things to share it with you. That's why again, this will, uh, this will send these kind of information and then the ARP message is going to send it, right? So inside the ARP, see, once it will receive these packet, you know, which is coming from the ICMP EK request, it is going to give the reply, which is uh, the source IP, which is uh, 20.2 destination IP. That would be this one, right? Because of who is who is the who uh, like where I am getting this message. I am getting this message from this interface on the this router. So destination IP address would be 10.1. Now, source MAC. Source MAC, it is going to send their MAC address, right? So, so their MAC address, it is going to send it. But this should be, uh, this, this should be the content of app messages, right? So inside this destination MAC address, it is going to send the 0B, sorry, in the source MAC address and the destination MAC address it is going to send that is 0A, right? Because which is coming from that. So these are the information will will uh, generate it inside the ARP message and the some type field as well, right? So these are the content that is we have, okay? That is why this first packet is going to drop it, right? And the last and the and, uh, other packets is going to receive on these packets uh, on the, these devices. Okay, guys. Now let me do the configuration. We are not able to communicate from the different network, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to do some configuration that would be related to this static routing. So how you can do that? Let me first of all show you that IP route table, right? So how you can check the uh, check the routing table that is do show show IP route, right? So inside the show IP route, only the connected directly connected link. Uh, information that you will get that right see for connect let me show you that which is it c4 connected right and whatever the static route you will get after configuring the static route you will get the yes over there right so you will get the yes over there okay now let me do the configuration so uh, IP route, IP route, right? What was the IP addresses? That is 192.168.20.0 network, right? We are going to use the network IP address, right? Not the particular physical IP address, we are going to use it. You can also check it over there. We are using the network address over there, right? You can also check the destination network, right? So I'm not going to use the destination IP address. We are going to use the destination network, okay? Now, let me just, after that, we have to give the subnet mask, right? So what is the subnet mask? That is, we are working on that IP address that will see by default subnet mask, right? Now which one is our exit interface after that? Let me also show you. 
next hop router next hop router means then who is my next hop router means who is uh, who is um, like what is the uh, where i'm going to send this packet uh, inside this packet inside the way inside the way of this packet who is the router that is we have the directly connected one so that is the directly connected router so we have to assign you can also assign that ip address that that i interface ip address you can also give it over there or otherwise you can also give the interface address only right so let me do that that is fast ethernet zero slash zero right now let me verify you one more thing let me do the question mark so you can identify now <clears throat> forwarding routers address right so whatever the interface type that is you have you can also give it over there right the dialer interface interface ethernet fast ethernet gigabyte ethernet loopback right serial interface vlan if you have any vlan so these are the things that you can uh, do that regarding the interfaces if we talk about the ip addresses so you can also give the ip address of that interface right but over here i'm using the fast ethernet right so that's why i'm just giving this fast ethernet zero slash zero fine now let me verify you the routing table. I'm um, start getting this address which is coming from S. S is S means static, right? Just means static, which is I'm start getting. And which network it, it is it that I'm getting it? Network number 20, right? The directly connected over on this interface right so i have done the one side configuration right but still uh, like i'm i'm getting the ip address inside my routing table which is that ip address that the different uh, the different network ip address now i'm getting this ip address of this network that is in the different network ip address and where it is coming from it is coming from the static ip address right but let's check that we are able to communicate we are not able to communicate because of i just tell this router that you have to reach that router with using these path right with using these path means i just configured that static router static route over on this router for this destination that you have to go on this destination but you have to use this interface ip address or the this this is the way that you have to use it to reach from the destination right but i didn't say that that okay um means you just climb on the hill right but you don't know that how to unclimb on the hill right so in this case what you need to do you need to do the configuration as well or on this router as well right so let's do the same configuration over on this router as well let's do that ip uh, ip route configuration that static route right ip route what is now I'm going to send these. Uh, I'm going to give the reply from router number this to there, right? So, following this way, which one should be our destination? Means we have to reach uh, from this router to this router, right? Means we have to. Uh, we supposed to make the communication from this router to this router, right? So this is my destination to reach from this router to this router, right? Now, let me do the configuration. That is IP route 192.168.10.0, right? What is the destination MAC address? Uh, sorry, um, that, that particular uh, subnet mask. So we are using 
the default subnet mask for there which is regarding the net uh, class c right after that which one is our exit interface means to reaching from here to here which one is our next hop router this is my next hop router interface right so fast ethernet zero slash one we have to give the fast ethernet zero slash one Okay, so we have done the configuration. Now let's do the configure. Let's check the connectivity from source to destination. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one. Right, that is in the different network. So we are able to communicate easily. We are able to communicate. Right, even on the different IP addresses. Mm. <laughs> the router is playing with us, guys. We are able to communicate in the different network, but the different IP address, why it's not going to do that? Let me check one more thing. Let me, if you if you get this kind of error, so how you have to troubleshoot this error? you have to check that your routing table right so if you are not getting any route in your routing table so you have the one command to get these things which is clear ip route star clear ip route star that let it complete so I will do that right I will verify you that um, start getting these uh, the the 10 network IP address or not right because of this is the directly connected we must have to get the static route over there. This should be happen sometimes, guys. If you did some some wrong, wrong alphabets, so you will also get this kind of error. Now, let me just. show IP route still I'm not getting it so in case in this case what you have to do you have to shut down uh, you have to do shut and no shut your interface configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 do shut down shut down and then to no shutdown. Right, let me check the routing table now. Still, we are not getting it. So, actually, see, guys, uh, there will be some iOS problem that is we have. That's why these router is not going, uh, not working properly. But you can, you can uh, do these practicals easily with following these steps, which is regarding this static routing and all, right? We are able to communicate over on the different network, but I don't know that why we are not going to use, why we are not able to communicate on this router. But the way of the configuration that is we have done, uh, this is how we can do that, with it, which is over on the static routing and all, right? Uh, let me do the same things or on the all the routers, like the, 
clear IP route star. Let me do on the first route number one as well. Clear IP route star. Do show, show IP route. Let me verify on the first router. We are able to uh, like we are we are getting these IP address, right? But means uh, if we are getting the same different network address, means my static routing is working properly, right? Means before uh, before conf configuring this is static routing, we are not getting these uh, these different network inside this routing table right but once we did the configuration of the static routing we are start getting these network right you can also check that this is the static route that i'm getting it and that is receiving or on this router okay but i don't know that why is not it's not working on this router let me just check it again I think we did the clear IP route star and all. We are not getting it. So there will be some problem in this in this router, particular in this router. So, but the configuration that is the same that you have you have to do that over on this router. Okay, so. This is enough for this static routing and all. Okay, uh, so what we are going to do over there, uh, we are going to configure the some IP addresses, right? And uh, we are also going to configure the some protections over on the routers, right? about the password and all and uh, this these are the things we are going to discuss over there right let me just so let me just can just connect these devices between them right so what is this zero slash zero and this one is also zero slash zero so first of all, let me do the configuration that is related to the network. Let me just write it down. What is the network IP address that we are going to use it? Dot ten dot zero slash twenty four network IP address. We are going to use it over there, right? So twenty four dot one and uh, sorry ten dot one, ten dot two over on this interface. We are going to use it, right? So let me just take the access of this router and let me just do the configuration on that. Okay, so first of all, uh, let me change one more thing over there. Now you can check that this is the router, right? This is the name of that you can see that is a router, but we can also change the host name as well, right? Such as uh, we can also assign router one over there, right? So just see over there that is previously that is uh, that is this one right now what I'm going to do I'm going to change this the host name over there right now you can change the uh, you can see that is uh, that is a new host name that is we assigned or on this device right <clears throat> now this is how we can assign the host name but let me just configure the IP addresses first of all over that so interface first is a net zero slash zero right so ip address which is we are going to use it 192.168.10.1 and the subject mask would be the by default class c subject mask right and don't don't forget to do no shutdown after configuring the ip address on that device right then this port will be work fine Otherwise, this port will be not come up, right? 
let me also show you. Uh, I'm not going to do no shutdown command or on this router. You can also check these things as well. Let me change. Let me change the host name, right? So host name that is router router two, right? Now let me just configure the IP address. First is an zero slash zero IP address. So one ninety two dot one sixty eight ten dot two. By default class C address we are going to use it, right? So we didn't do the no shutdown command over there, right? So if you are not going to use the no shutdown command, so that port will be not come up, right? So we must have to use the no shutdown command. So once we just enable this command, once we turn on these devices, so that port will be comes up in the queen state, right? Now let me just do the configuration uh, that is related to this password and all right now we have the we have the basically three to four types of password right so uh, let me just describe first of all what kind of passwords that we have and uh, how we can assign that or on these routers Open my WordPad, Microsoft WordPad. Okay, uh, so we are going to discuss about the passwords over there, right? And uh, the some protocols also we are going to discuss about this VTY. So basically we have lots of password over there. Uh, we can also configure these password, but uh, let me just explain what are the most important part of the password that we can configure over on that device. So basically, this is our uh, the racks of the physical topology, right? Means oh, we have the racks, but how they are connected? They are connected just like that, right? So you can make this diagram um, later, right? Not right now. Let me just describe the password about the password. So. If we talk about the password, so we have the three types of password that is plain text, MD5, right, and VTY. So uh, we called it line VTY, right? So plain text means you can uh, you can see the password. That is a whatever the password that you have created over there. You can see that, right? But MT5 or uh, the encrypted password, we can say that this is encrypted password. Right, this is our encrypted password. We cannot see this password and we have also one more password that is um, MD7. This is also the type of encrypted password, right? And if we talk about line VTY, so inside the line VTY, we have uh, basically we, we use these uh, this line VTY function for the remote can remote access, right? Now, what are the remote access protocols that is we have, which is Telnet and SSH, right? Telnet is called 
teletype teletype network right and ssh is called secure shell right sorry so uh, these are the things that is we have regarding the password right so we are going to configure the password over on these routers right and uh, how we can take the access of the remotely how we can take the access of any device we will also talk about that right so we have done the ip configuration over on these devices right now what you have to do what we have to do now we are going to configure the passwords over there right so enable enable password right that is a uh, that is unencrypted password we are going to configure that right so that is we are going to change uh, we are going to configure the ccn right now we have one more password that is enable secret right so enable secret we have uh, basically the specific encryption and encryption and encryption password also over there right so over there you can see that um, we can we can use the zero for specifies an unencrypted password with following the zero right and with following these five specify an encrypted secret will follow right so and and uh, the line will be unencrypted as well right and level you can set the level of the password also over there right so just only the password we are going to do that that would be automatically convert into the encrypted password right so that is we are going to configure that ccnp right now what we are going to do we are going to enable uh, the remote access services over on these devices right so how what you can do you uh, you can you can control this device this uh, router number one from there right means if you are working on this device so you simultaneously you can also take the access of this device and you can manage this device as well at the same time right with using the telnet and ssh protocol right so we are going to configure the telnet protocol over there right and um, inside the tenor protocol, how we can configure, let, let's do that, right? So before configuring the telnet protocol, we have to configure the line, line password over there, right? So line VTY, right? Now, if you choose the first line number, right? Means how the first machine that you want. So suppose that I just take the machine one, a zero right means uh, from started to we can configure the 15 number of the machine right means we can take access uh, at the same time on the 15th user 15th users right so i'm going to take the zero to four over there now if we just do the question mark over there so we have lots of things right we can also set the password if you want right so what we are going to do we are going to enable the password because of we have to do that okay so let's configure the password over there password would be ccie right that's all now you can also set the previous level as well regarding this uh taking access of uh this device right we can also set the privilege uh, privilege label as well right we can also set the speed right and um, priority we can also set this priority as well right we have lots of things we have ipv6 as well and we have lots of things right now after configuring the password you have to do login right yes uh see zero means 
I just take the axis of and it's I'm going to assign the five pieces in between that means suppose that we have the five pieces or the five devices continuously right and we are uh, I am the I'm the administrator of these five machines right means these are the five devices in our users right so what we have to do we have to um, first of all uh, we can we can uh, we can manage these five devices or on the first devices only right with using the telnet protocol okay so that is that is this uh, related to this telnet protocol over there that's fine now let's configure this telnet over there right now the telnet is configured uh, right now or on this device which is on the router number one right which is on the this device how we did that with using line vty 24 and i will I, I also set the password over there right <coughs> let me just show you that is the password and i just do the login over there now we have the two modes over there we can set this uh, particular login for this uh for this local right the so local password check in this uh if he wants to check the local password so that will check the local password or otherwise you can go for the authentication right so there will be some uh, some kind of server that is the triple a server right so we do not have any triple a server so normally we are going to use the local right that's all So the same thing we are also going to do that or on the test device to show right which one line vty 24 this configuration we are going to do that right and the same things same protocols same password we are also going to do that on the another router as well so let's do that Let's paste it from there. Okay, so I just enable the telnet protocol on these two routers. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the access of, uh, see, I'm going to manage this device with using this device, right? So let me open this device. And how you can check it how you can do that with using telnet command how you can take the access of it which is telnet and that remote ip address that was 10.2 right now the authentication uh, now the telnet is working properly right so how see before taking the access of any device you have to must uh, you have to make sure that that device is must be reachable from your source right whatever the uh, whatever the device that you have that device must be reachable with the each others then you can take a easily access of this remote access of these devices right now let me just now we are on the router number one right i just took the access of router number two as you can also see over there right now the time is expired so uh, you have the some kind of limitation times the time limitation as well right so between now uh, within the time you have to set the password you have to tell the password that is you have let's do it again so what was the password ccna sorry ccnp okay okay the username it is asking about right so username that is uh, that is you have configured router two right and the password that is you have to do that ccna I think no uh, actually uh, the username is required over there 
uh, that's a, we don't know that what is the username. I just configured on that, right? So we have to make sure that what is the username that you have to configure uh, that you have already configured on that. Let me just. Let me take the access from there. Telnet 192.168.110.1. Right, so username, that is, we are going to do that admin and the password, which is CCNA. Let me do that again. CCNP. Okay, uh, I think I just for I just lost the connection because of I didn't remember the username that is I have configured, but the configuration command would be the same as on this router or the switches which is you have done on that, right? So what was the configuration that was? So uh, this was the configuration that was related to this, right? Okay, so you can also write it down and you can also set the password on the devices, on the uh, on these switches, right? Uh, let me just verify you one more thing over there. Let me just, uh, first of all, write the configuration. Let me save the configuration and let me do the reload of that device. Right, let me just reload the device. I just saved the configuration, which is I have done the configuration regarding this password and all right so now let me just if you take the access of this device again so you need the password over there ccnp right so what was the password whatever the password that you have given over there you have to just press the password then you can take the access of this device did you understand that guys why we require the password if anybody comes uh, such as hacker or anything and uh, suddenly he just take that he just wants to take the access of your de your device so that ex that hacker needs uh, the some kind of password which is you have configured on that right so just these kind of things that is we have let me do the reload also over there and let me show you that whatever the password we have done it over there once the, the this this device will come up again so you need to require the password once you enable this once you want to move this uh, this mode into the enable mode so there will be the password is, is going to require it right and that should be the enable uh, this ccnp password which is the secret one right so you have to press the secret password which is uh, as you can also see over there i just press the uh, secret password but that password is not going to, you cannot see that password while typing uh, or while entering this password, right? So these are the things that is we have related to this password, username, host name, and the telnet configuration. Let me check one more thing. Internet 192.168.10.1. Again, the username is required. Actually, I didn't remember this username, so that's why I'm not able to take the access of it. But the configuration would be the same, which is you have done on that, right? So this was all about the password configuration and all.